In this video I will show you how to quickly and easily withdraw money from Femex back to your own bank account. When withdrawing money from a crypto trading exchange back to our bank account, we basically have two different options. Either we are gonna withdraw the fiat money, so euro or US dollar, directly from the exchange to our bank account, but unfortunately that is not always possible. So the other way would be to first send crypto from that exchange to a so-called fiat on and off ramp, which is basically an exchange that is optimized for interacting with fiat money with your own bank account. So we first send crypto here, convert it then to fiat, and then send fiat from here back to our bank account. First, I will show you the first option, which is to directly withdraw it to your bank account. It is possible on Femex. It may or may not work for you. I'll quickly show you how you can do it. First, you need to make sure that you have the money in US dollar tether. So not in any other cryptocurrency. To do that, you go up here to um, spot and then click on convert. And then make sure to choose up here the cryptocurrency that you want to convert and convert it to USDT. Just choose all in here and then you can convert any money that you have to USDT and once you have it in USDT we can then convert it to euro and withdraw it and to do that you go up here to your wallet go to account and then click on fiat account then search for the currency that you want to withdraw in my case I'm going to use the euro so here on the right side I'm going to click on buy sell crypto then choose sell here I will choose USDT choose the amount that you want to sell and then just click down here on sell to sell it for euro. Once you then have it in euro, you can just go back up here to your wallet, account and fiat account. Then under euro, click here on fiat withdrawal, type in the amount you want to withdraw. This will be a wire transfer, which will take one to two days. Click on withdraw, and then you can enter your banking details for the withdrawal. So you can try if this works for you. If it does, great. If it maybe doesn't because of the country that you're in or your fiat currency is not supported, I will now show you a second option, which will definitely 100% work. Here is a quick overview of different types of crypto exchanges. On the left side, we have the typical trading exchanges, which typically have very low fees have many different coins and are mostly also used for futures trading. They are perfect to trade smaller coins and use leverage trading. Down here you can see some examples of this type of exchanges. On the right side instead, we have the so-called fiat on and off ramp exchanges. They have the benefit of very easy and convenient fiat deposit and withdrawal methods. So whenever you want to interact with your own bank account in your local currency, such as euro, British pound or US dollars, and you can easily buy and sell crypto with your own fiat money. My favorite examples of this type of exchanges are Bitpanda, which is my personal favorite, but an also great alternative is Coinbase. Now here are five steps that work 100% to withdraw any crypto you have on a trading exchange back to your own bank account. We start off by creating an account on a so-called fiat exchange. As I told you, my recommendation is Bitpanda or Coinbase. Then from our trading exchange, we first convert any crypto to a stable coin such as US dollar tether or USDC. Then we send that stable coin to the fiat exchange where we have created an account earlier. So we, so we withdraw it from the old exchange and deposit it onto our fiat exchange. Then on the fiat exchange, we sell the stable coin for the desired fiat currency, such as euro, US dollars or British pound, whichever one you want. And then in our last step from the fiat exchange, we withdraw this fiat here back to our own bank account. Let's start off with a step number one. As I told you, to work with the fiat withdrawal, we are gonna work with Bitpanda or Coinbase. To create an account on Bitpanda, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link there, and you will get to exactly this page right here, and you will be able to get up to 100 euros in bonuses, which is the best bonus that you can get. Depending on how much you trade on the platform, you can get all of these bonuses, which add up to 100 euro. Simply click on the link, enter your details right here, and then you're ready to go. In case Bitpanda is not available to you, you can check it by just clicking here on country of residence and checking if your country is listed in right here. If this is not the case, you can alternatively use Coinbase to sign up on Coinbase. I have also a special sign up link for you down in the video description where you can get the best sign up bonus possible, which is currently a $5 welcome bonus by just signing up and making your first trade for at least $100. To create an account here, you simply also enter your few details right here and create your account. All right, so that's it for step one. Let's move on to the second step, which is to convert any crypto on the old exchange to a stable coin. My personal recommendation is to use US dollar tether, but an alternative would also be USDC. To do that, you simply go up here to spot and then click on convert. 
and then make sure to choose any crypto that you still have up here and convert it to USDT. So just choose the amount right here and therefore you can convert any crypto up here into US dollar tether. Just click on get quotation down here and confirm it and then it's done. Once you have it in USDT, we can move on to our third step, which is to send the stablecoin to the fiat exchange. To do that, we first need our deposit address for that. So after signing up on Bitpanda, you go up here to deposit, choose cryptocurrencies, select USDT, Ethereum network and click on view wallet address. I understand. And here you will have your personal depositing address. Copy that to your clipboard. Then on Femex, go up here to your wallet symbol and click on withdraw. Then make sure to choose US dollar tether up here. Here for the network, select ERC20. Then you can scroll down, paste in the address we copied from Bitpanda right here. And down here, enter the amount you want to withdraw. I'm just going to use everything. Then all you need to do is just click down here on withdraw and that's already it. Alternatively, if you're using Coinbase, once you're signed in, click here on my assets and then down here, click on receive crypto, choose US dollar tether and copy your address right here to the clipboard. And then of course, instead, paste in here the address we got from Coinbase. ERC20 network is the same. Then just scroll down and click on withdraw to send it to Coinbase. Once you've made the withdrawal, it will take a few minutes and then the money will arrive right here and you will see it within your account. Of course, the same applies to Coinbase. You will see it right here under my asset here under Tether. You will see the balance credited right here. All right, let's move on to the next step, which is number four. Now we need to sell the stablecoin for our desired fiat currency. So the stablecoin, in this case, the USDT, needs to be converted to our desired fiat currency. To do that on Bitpanda, you can see my USDT right here. We simply go up here to trade and click on sell. We choose our tether and now we can choose which fiat currency we want to receive. So depending on the country you live in and what your fiat currency is, you can see these are all of our options right here. In this case, I'm using the euro, so I just click on euro. And now I need to enter how much I want to sell. Of course, in this case, everything. So I'm just gonna click on maximum, click on go to summary, agree to the terms right here and click on sell now. As you can see, I've sold my USDT for euro successfully. So I can now click on go to portfolio. And as you can see now, USDT is gone and instead I have it in Euro, which is my cash right here that I can now withdraw back to my bank account. If you're using Coinbase and you have your Tether balance right here, it works pretty much the same. Just go here on the right side to sell. Choose you want to sell your Tether for, in this case, Euro. And up here, type in the amount you want to sell. You can also just click on maximum, all of your USDT you have and just click on sell now. After that, you won't have it in here in USDT anymore, but instead, if you go to cash, you will see your euro balance right here. All right, so let's move on to our last step, which is now to withdraw the fiat back to our bank account. On Bitpanda, just go up here and click on send. Choose your euro, enter your password. In my case, I already added my bank account right here, but if you're doing this the first time, you need to click on add new payout account and then just enter all of your details from your own bank account, such as your recipient name, IBAN, BIC and the bank name. Once you're done with that, you can simply select it. Choose how much you want to withdraw, agree to the terms. And as you will see, you can withdraw it completely for free. Just click on confirm and within one to three days, the money will be back on your bank account. On Coinbase, it's also pretty similar. Once you have it here in your fiat currency, just click on withdraw cash. Type in your amount you want to withdraw and click on continue, enter your banking details and also within a few days you have it back on your bank account. And that is how you can withdraw any money back to your own bank account. Don't forget to pick up your best sign up bonus possible on Bitpanda by signing up with the link down in the video description to get up to 100 euros in bonuses or alternatively on Coinbase you can get up to $5 just with the link down in the video description. As always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments and I will do my best to get them answered.